All right, hello there. So this tutorial will just be showing you how you can update a table based on a button and you won't have to use make.com or anything, but purely just using the WordPress table API. So I have this uh, Google Sheet right now, and this is my WordPress table. Now I want to update this. So instead of it saying Sylvain, I will say WordPress team. All I have to do now is just click this button and check again. Uh, it should say bot press team, that's perfect. So I'll just be showing you how we do this. So we are using this app script and in this app script, I have this function called sync table. Now in this function, we let, we let sheet be equals to, and then this right here just gets the active sheet. So this is the sheet that we have right here. Now, let data range be equals to sheet dot data range. This gets the active, um, like it gets the range of all of the cells that contain some data. And uh, let values be equals data range dot get values. It retrieves just all of the values within the data range as a two dimensional array. So right here, we use a nested for loop, which iterates over each cells of values. Um, of the values array. So the outer loop um, I right here, we iterate over rows and the inner loop J right here, iterates over columns within these rows. Um, now we are skipping the first row by just saying I equals one. Um, this is because our table contains some headers. So it, we don't want to include name and location in our table um, in a row. So we are just setting it to be equals one. Let's say you had, you know, you actually had them from down here and you know, you had information all the way down to here that you didn't want to include. You would set it to be equals to nine uh, or whatever number you really wanted to start from. All right. Um, yeah. So set it equals to one since you have headers now. Um, if values, this right here, is um, not empty, so basically if the current cell is not empty, we will log it to our, um, I can run it to show you actually, but we'll log it right here, so you can see that it logs the row right here, and it logs the column, and it also logs the value um, that we stored. Now, you don't have to mind these right now. Come back to those later. So we call this function called delete all rows in table. And the reason why we're doing this is to make sure that the table is completely empty before we add the new rows. And this is what we use this function for. So create rows in table. We call this function with the spreadsheet values and we exclude the headers. A header row to create the new rows in our table without those. So yeah, now our function uh, delete row in table. So this sends a post request to the WordPress API endpoint to just delete all of the rows in the specific table. So we are using this table ID right here. This should of course be your table ID. So to find that you'll go into your bot that you have set up right here, you go into the table and right here up in the URL, you can find this that it ends with, and this is your table ID. So it starts with table underscore and then the rest. So copy paste, uh, just copy all of this, go back into the script and paste it in and also paste it in down here. So if we create this payload um, object with the delete all rows set to true. This will just delete all of the rows in our table without us really having to do anything else. Now the options right here, um, just we are just setting up the request options, including the HTTP method that is post. Now the headers right here, the content type uh, application class JSON is just what the API requires. And this authorization right here, this is our personal access token. So you'll also have to get one of these for yourself. If you don't already have one, you can go into the WordPress. You can go down here to personal access token. 
generate a new token, give it a name and copy this token, go back into the script, paste it in right here and also come down here and paste it in right here. So yeah, then we set the bot ID to be equals to and then our bot ID. And you get this bot ID by going to your workflow. So I'll just select this workflow right here. This is where I have the bot. And this is the bot ID. So copy this, go into your script, paste it in right here. Go down here and also make sure to paste it in right here. Now this sends the request right here using the ul fetch app dot fetch and then it passes the response um, as json so and right here logger dot log we are just logging the deleted rows that you can see right here and then the amount of the deleted rows that we deleted so yeah now we use this create rows in tables function now this function sends a post request also to the but press API endpoint. Now this, uh, instead of deleting, it actually creates the new rows in the specific table. So we have pretty much the same URL. Um, we have this same table ID, but now instead of having slash delete at the end, we just delete this right here. So we just have slash rows after our table ID. Now we construct, yeah. So yeah, we make sure to include this as they being the same um, ID as you had right here, since we want to have a completely clear table. Um, so yeah, we create um, an array called rows to basically just store the row data in. And right here, we are just iterating over each row of the values array um, that we passed as a parameter and we create an object for each row um, so yeah and each row object has properties um, test and test2 which corresponds to our table um, names right here so I named them pretty dumb just for testing purposes but they should probably be named something like names uh, on name and lo oops. location so we'll actually update these right now so go back into here replace this with name and replace right here i'll just be replacing this with location of course every time we do a change we should test it so we'll say run and just make sure that these updated they did perfectly and it worked so, e, um, where did it come to? Um, yeah, I think it just, um, it will just add each row object to the row array. Um, and it creates this payload right here with the rows array. Um, now we are setting the request options to be similar like completely similar to our uh, delete options right here so yeah and then it sends the uh, request just like we did before by using this url fetch app dot fetch url and we are right here logging the amount of created rows that you can see right here and we'll also be logging if there are any warnings and if there's any errors. So I think that's pretty much it. Just going quickly over it. Now I'll be showing you how to actually set this up now with a completely new bot. So I'll go into, I'll be using a new workflow. I'll create a completely new bot. Now this bot will only have a table. So just close this, rename it and say, I'll also call this sync table on button click. Pretty long name, but we'll take it. So start from scratch, use the template and 
this spot we'll add a table we'll call this table um, user information table just like this we'll add um, probably say something like maybe we should say uh, user name and we will call the other one password and I'll also just create a new sheet with that yep and right here we'll say user name and this one will be password so this will be easy for our client to basically update we'll have the first user be dk my password will be 1234 a very strong one we'll have another one called defmic his password will be even stronger so we'll include a null number and we'll include simply grade bots right here and he'll have the strongest password just like this now we want to include our button so we'll go to not sure what this actually will be it's number four right here probably something like um put in or something uh, i'm not sure but you should be able to do a drawing right here and in this drawing we will just be creating a um kind of like a square so just do it like this give it round corners just so it looks a bit better you can also do this from an image i believe if you prefer now i'll make this uh i don't know green and we'll add some text to it so uh we'll call this update table this should probably i uh, don't care about the font right now just make this text bigger say save and close text is probably a bit too big but it doesn't really matter we'll make this a bit smaller this button so under extensions we'll go to this app script now in here just give this uh, app script a name right for here so i'll just call this uh, sync table tutorial call it whatever you want to and we'll just copy all of this code right here but of course we have to change some things now so first of all let's actually change this even more so we will be using another column so um i'm not sure we can probably call this location so i'll say denmark and def make will be my neighbor he'll be from germany and whoops simply create bots will be from sweden so we all close now we should also update our table to include that of course so we'll add location right here and in here we want we still want to skip the headers so we will keep the um plus equals one at first now what else do we have to update so we of course have to update the bot id and the table id so we start out by doing that so we'll copy the bot id from the url right here and replace this one go down to here and replace this one also hit save now we also want to update the table id so we'll copy the table id just like this and slash tables and this one right here perfect now we of course what else do we have to update uh yeah so we have to update these so the first one we call that one username the next one is password password and we'll actually create a completely new one so whoops like this and this one will be called location so i don't think there's anything else to actually update now the first time we run this i can just run it now we'll see this um probably something like see permissions for you uh, or cancel now we will see permissions 
just gonna blur everything out but you will just give it the permissions it require you might have to go to advanced settings i at least have to and just give it the permissions it require it's just for updating um your table it does that with the error script so um Perfect, we actually got an, an error, so that's amazing. Um, you might be thinking, oh, why is it that's amazing? But then if you received an error like this, you would know how to fix it. So we'll read this, so we can see that row one, and the column is password, and it expected the value of type string, but it actually received the value of type number. And it of course did that because we are inputting a number right here. Now, let's read, so one, two, three, four, and I got the same as row two, and the same as row three. So, how do we fix this? We will, of course, go to our table. So, we can see that it received the value type of number, but it expected a string. So, our table is set up to expect a string, but we should change this to be a number. If you set it to boolean or something else, or a date, you should also change that. So set this to number, go back in here. We could of course also just, you know, make this uh, a string instead. Yeah, just like that. Um, but we'll keep it a number, we like that. So go back into here, hit run again. And hopefully we'll see that it updated. Username dev make, this is perfect. So, I hope that was enough for you to get started and enough for you to, yeah, you know, really do some testing of your own and try to implement this. I find this extremely, you know, valuable as now I can go in, I can make changes, I can add five new rows and then do one change instead of it changing every time I made an edit, like my previous tutorial did, or, you know, only updating once a day or something. Um, yeah. If you have any questions about something, if you can some, if you can manage to break this, and you know, let let me know how we broke it, and we'll fix it to make it even more robust. I will also do some testing of my own. Oh yeah, of course, um, I forgot to show you how to uh, how to do the script from the button. Um, <laughs> that that's my bad. Uh, we'll just copy this function name um, that we set here at the top, uh, and um, go right right click on the button go to these three dots, um, probably something like um, add script or something like that. Just paste in the function name right here. We can do a test. So we'll give me a stronger password now. We will add a few more numbers, update table. And hopefully I also have a stronger password. Yeah, I have, amazing. Um, so yeah, if you break it, if you you know want it to be able to do something else also, let me know and we can work on that together. Right. See ya.